It's Mnemonic and welcome to a build guide for the Monk class for patch 2.6.5 and this is specifically around Nephilim Rifts. Nephilim Rifts and Bounties, you can use it for both and this build includes the Sage set and it also includes the Nemesis Bracers. I managed to pull it off at least for the Monk class and it performs very very well on Torment 15 with absolutely no paragon i only have four augments on my gear and nothing else added to that it's just pieces that i happen to have on my stash from previous seasons when i played the wave of light monk and that is really all i have so uh, realistically if you augment everything with a bunch of 60s you're going to have much more mainstead than what my four augments are basically providing me that's all that there is to it one of my weapons isn't even ancient so you can easily uh, get a whole bunch of damage over what i have i just put some basic gear together and it works fine Eventually you'll be able to take this up to Torment 16 as well very easily in the season with a few augments as I said you'll be able to cover that. So uh, let's get into the gear itself. So I'm running the San Wuko 6 piece, the actual set. So for the 2 piece your damage taken is reduced by 50% while Sweeping Wind is active. Uh, not really too bothered about that. All of our toughness is going to be coming from the gold rep anyways. 4 piece every second. We, again nothing really special there. And then the 6 piece slashing tail kick tempest rush and wave of light have their damage increased by a thousand and five hundred percent for each stack of sweeping wind you have in my case i am going with lashing tail kick i tried the other two i feel like lashing tail kick actually works the best from what i've tried at least and that's why i decided to go with that one so we're ba basically going to be buffing up the damage for that ability through the six piece through every stack that we can have on sweeping wind so obviously it's going to be very important to have up to 10 stacks so that is the San Wuko set. Now I only have five equipped and that is because I have a Ring of Real Grandeur in the cube. You have to do that if you want to mix in the Sage set bonus as well. And so I'm uh, actually equipping five pieces, the shoulders, the helm, the chest, uh, the pants, and then the neck piece over here. Now for the neck piece i would highly recommend to try and get some physical damage on it since the lashing tail kick that i chose to go with has a physical rune sweeping armada because it provides a little bit more of a like a, a larger hit within 15 yards there so yeah i really really like that and that's the one i decided to go for and then obviously the sage piece uh, up to the three piece at the bonus where it says that the, it doubles the amount of death's breath that drop which is fantastic and i chose to equip the gloves and the boots to pop that three piece and even on t15 with the sages and the nemesis you're going to get much more death breaths than you would actually get on t16 regardless so you don't even have to go up to t16 if it's just the dbs you're mainly looking for you're going to get much much more and to be honest, the difference from T15 to T16 isn't even that big at all when it comes to the loot you actually get. But even if you want that little bit more, as I said earlier, you will easily be able to take this up to Torment 16 uh, eventually in the season. Now, those are the set pieces. Now, when it comes to your legendary items, as I said, Gold Rep is going to be our only pretty much a uh, source of toughness you are going to be depending on gold rep so you need to be killing monsters and grabbing the gold to survive without this you will just die you'll get one shot it so it's very important that you have that obviously uh with gold rep the everest band is going to pair incredibly well with the bone of the hoarder to get that much more gold gives you a nice uh movement speed buff as well after you pick up gold and it all works very nicely together and then through the ring you will get this enormous pickup radius as you are picking up gold and it will work very well with the gold rep because it will give you incredible amounts of toughness your health bar basically will not move given that you're picking up gold every five seconds or so the other ring is the obsidian ring of the zodiac this is very important mainly because of our epiphany we're going to be relying on this basically 
to keep a permanent or close to permanent uptime on Epiphany, and it's going to be critical to have this, and then with Gojok of Swiftness, it gives us a lot of things that we need. Even more cooldown reduction and the attack speed are going to be working fantastically well with this, and that is the gem that I recommend. Obviously, uh, resource cost reduction is going to be very, very important since we don't have a generator, and cooldown reduction as well. I will show you the stats later on. And then Bane of the Trapped on the neck piece is just a damage stick, a uh, stat stick that works very, very well. It's just gonna increase your damage that much more. Along with the Nemesis Bracers, so whenever we click on a Shrine or a Pylon, you will get extra Elites, and therefore even more Death Breaths, as if it wasn't enough just through the Sage on its own. The Weapons. We have Vengeful Wind, which will provide us with another 7 stacks of Sweeping Wind, so it's really going to boost up our damage because of the 6 piece of the San Wuko set. Now our Sweeping Wind can have up to 10 stacks, and each stack will give us 1500% damage. It really is essential to have a Vengeful Wind. And then on your other weapon, we have Rabbit Strike, which pretty much mimics your spirit spender so it's going to be basically free additional damage increase and it also rolls some critical hit damage on it so it's going to continue to help to actually help you increase your damage artificially through that which is very very nice now when it comes to the actual stats i am currently running this with 45 percent cooldown reduction i wouldn't really go under this by too much i would say maybe maybe 40 percent would be the bare minimum but i would recommend to try and get around 45 at least 45 this will work very very well and then for our spirit cost reduction i have 40 percent so i can promise you that if you can hit these two thresholds for cooldown reduction and spirit cost reduction the build will work obviously having more it will make your life much much easier but it will work as it stands so at least try and get those two uh capped at those specific numbers that i just uh suggested to you now for the items in the cube I obviously am running a Ring of Royal Grandeur to make all of this work. A Rivera Dancers, this is going to give me even more attack speed through my Lesion Tail Kick, and it adds another 300% damage, which is very, very good. And then Scarbringer, even more damage to Lesion Tail Kick by 600% to the first 7 enemies hit. So again, these two are basically here to buff up my Lesion Tail Kick ability, and this is here to make everything work. So yeah, very, very simple there uh, in the cube. Now for the abilities themselves, passives, I'm going with Exalted Soul mainly to keep up my spirit. It's very important to don't have a generator. I'm basically going to be relying on Epiphany. So everything that I can get to help is going to be great when it comes to spirit regeneration. That's why resource cost reduction is going to be very, very important. And Chant of Resonance, it's basically the same thing. And then a Beacon of Itar, very important, reduces all cooldowns by 20%, essential to keep your Epiphany going. And Momentum, which increases your damage by 20% for 6 seconds, provided that you move to 25 yards, which is going to happen all the time with this build. So it's a very easy to get and nice damage buff. Now for the actual abilities and runes, we have Serenity with Ascension. This is this, okay, so the reason why I'm using this is very simple. So since my toughness is only coming from Gold Rap, whenever you enter into a new map or you open up a brand new Nephilim Rift, or whatever the case may be, you're not going, obviously, to have picked up any gold. So if there is a ranged enemy there and they hit you before you do for some reason, you're just gonna get one-shotted. But in those moments where maybe you're not, you didn't really pick up gold for whatever reason, this is for those moments. You can use the shield and for 4 seconds you are going to be completely immune to damage until you kill something in those 4 seconds and you pick up gold. And so once this expires you're going to be completely fine again because you have the toughness coming in from the gold. It's on a very very short cooldown. We are so stacked when it comes to cooldown reduction so it's not even really... 16 seconds and that is the purpose for that ability 
Secondary, obviously, Lashing Tail Kick with Sweeping Armada, that's where all of our damage is going to be coming from. Uh, Mantra of Healing with Circular Breathing, just for the extra little bit of Spirit Region that it provides. Sweeping Wind with Inner Storm, again, this is going to be, first of all, essential for the damage, especially through... Um, through the actual weapon, I forgot what it's called, Vengeful Wind. Very, very important to get all of that damage rolling in, but also it gives you 8 Spirit per second, which is going to be incredibly useful. So this is helping us with Spirit and essential for our damage. And then uh, Dashing Strike with Radiance. This is also going to be obviously important. This is going to give us that uh, mobility that we need to go from one pack to another, one group of enemies to another. And it also buffs our attack speed by 15% for 4 seconds after we use a Dashing Strike, which is going to work even better with our Lashing Tail Kick. It's on a two charge. You have actually have two charges at your disposal, and you'll get a charge every eight seconds. So yeah, it's very good for mobility. And then obviously Epiphany with Insight. I don't really need the extra toughness, so I chose to go with Insight. You have to go with this. It's just gonna increase your Spirit Region by that much more, and it is, as I said, essential. You wanna try to always keep your Epiphany up, or almost have it up permanently. It depends on how much trash you have if you're walking a lot with epiphany going on and there's nothing really to hit obviously your obsidian ring of the zodiac isn't giving you much so you have to wait a few seconds before it's available but uh, most of the time you're going to be completely fine and even without this you're still going to have the spirits to kill and get this back up so it will work trust me on that that's everything I wanted to talk about, and until next time, stay safe, take care, and peace out.